welcome back to my channel. This is my go-to movements to grow my glutes. First, you already know we need to start with mobility, but why? Mobility is so important because a lack of mobility can cause bad posture, side dominance, poor exercise technique, muscle imbalance, and that's just not what you want. You want to be able to get the most out of your workouts in a safe way. So, mobility should not be skipped. It can be as simple as performing squats, working on ankle mobility, hip mobility, shoulder mobility are so important and vital to performing movements to the best of your ability and in the safest way as possible. So these are some of the mobility exercises that I choose to do. And mobility really does not have to be complicated. Think about your stretches and what you do to cool down for an exercise. Just add movement to those movements. Just take a yoga movement and add like a shift or a bounce or side to side movements just small movements to warm up your muscles but it is very important not to do static stretching before a workout because your muscles will not be ready to do what you need to do when it comes to my glute workouts I like to keep it simple and as effective as possible so I like to start with cast glute bridges I prefer these over hip thrusts because cast glute bridges mainly recruit your glute muscles opposed to your hamstrings that come along with hitting a hip thrust cast glute bridges allow your muscles to have constant tension on your glutes the difference between a glute bridge opposed to a hip thrust is when you are performing a glute bridge you go halfway down and all the way up halfway down and all the way up. You are not performing full range which allows you to keep constant tension in the glutes which is what we want for muscle growth. The second workout that I do is a single leg RDL. Now RDLs are very tricky but once you get the form down they are very optimal for glute growth. They allow your glute to be lengthened. So when it comes to an RDL, first and foremost, a slight bend in the knee. You want to bend in the knee to target your glutes. You also want to go down slow and controlled. And finally, you really, really, really want to hinge back at like a 45 degree angle. I'm not good with angles, but just hinge back. My last tip for RDLs is to focus on form over weight. Make sure your core is tight and engaged so you can avoid low back pain. RDLs are kind of a difficult exercise to master, but once you do, the results are so worth it. The next exercise we have is deficit reverse lunge. And I'm new to this workout, but I honestly love it. Like, I feel like my mind and muscle connection when it comes to this movement is top tier so the reason why you should add a deficit to your workouts is because you can change the height of your foot placement which increases your range of motion and allows for a deeper stretch of that muscle which in turn recruits the muscle makes your muscle be able to grow and makes your glutes bigger like we love that the form cue that really helped me was to tap my knee to the ground and hinge back as well. When you're doing glute movements, you really want to emphasize a hinge, and mind and muscle connection is so important, so just focus. These hurt so bad, <laughs> and sometimes they're a little tricky, but just don't rush the movements and just push through. You got this. I also want to note when it comes to loading weight, you want to load a challenging weight that literally makes your face look like how mine looks right now. You kind of want to be struggling by your last rep. If your last rep is a breeze and your goal is muscle hypertrophy, you are not doing enough. So you need to go up, but only go up if your form is good because you don't want to get injured, babe. The last leg workout of the day is step ups. These are a great glute finisher. I like to hit them with weight and then hit them with body weight till a burnout. Now let me tell y'all, just like the reverse deficit lunges, the step ups are good because the step in front of you is higher which allows your range of motion to increase. And like you heard me say before, when the range of motion is increased, the muscle recruitment is also increased. So this is a great exercise to target your glutes. It is okay to grab onto something for balance because you want this movement to be slowed and controlled. Constant, constant tension on those glutes, pushing off and lowering back down slow to feel that burn. I also like when I do this movement to not fully step on the ground sometimes. I like to just float, so just tap my toe and shoot back up because that also allows for constant tension on the glutes, but it honestly depends on how I'm feeling and how dead I am by the end of the workout. <laughs> All right, we made it to the core portion of this workout. We're done hitting the glutes. Those four simple movements is all you need. And now we're hitting deep core. I started getting into deep core a while back and I honestly like it. The tip with deep core is I hear a lot of people say, I don't feel into my abs. I don't feel anything. You really need to engage your core. You need to literally tighten your core like you're about to get hit. Like you just need to brace your core 
and have that mind and muscle connection is important when you're trying to hit deep core exercises. Another thing I always see is like, okay, stop doing crunches. You need to do this. And I'm like, you don't need to stop doing like flexion or extension exercises just because these people tell you to. It's important to hit your muscles in all planes of motion and all range of motion. So do what you feel is best. I still do crunches. I still do various exercises, but I am loving deep core right now because it really helps with my lower back pain. So these are the few exercises that I do for deep core. Okay, babe. So I hope this helped you guys and gave you inspiration for your next workout. Um, you got this. Go grow those glutes. Go build your dump truck. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or just in general. You can always DM me. You can always message me and just leave a comment. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that cute stuff, and I'll see you next time. Why self-life?